Hi, I'm Sarah, reporting you from Spotlight on the Tenny. Today we'll be talking about very well-talented music teachers. In the upper school, Mr. Folks. In the lower school, Mr. McGuire. <laughs> Hi, this is Patrick, and I'm here with Mr. Folks. How you doing, Patrick? Hello. Uh, when did you first start working here, and how long have you been working here? I started here in 1997 full-time. Uh, before that, I was working with the Methuen High School Marching Band in uh, 94, when I was in college still. I student-taught in Methuen at the CGS Timoney and High School in uh, 96, and then I was hired in 1997 full-time as the chorus director and general music teacher for the Timoney. So I spent a year in this building before they redid it, and then moved over to the, what is now the Collaborative School on Route 28 for a year. Then the Timoney opened, and I became the band director of the Tenney, and then in 2000 I came here. So I'm in my 22nd full-time year here at the Tenney. Wow, that's long. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the job? Well, I really enjoy watching students succeed in music. Um, for me, music is a passion of mine that I really enjoy sharing, um, having the opportunity to share with students. Um, if you had asked me back in middle school if I was going to be a middle school band director or teach music, I probably would have told you no. Um, it wasn't until later when I was in high school did I realize that music was something I really loved doing and I wanted to share with other people. And I thought if I could find something I really love to do, and then be able to show students how much I enjoy doing it, how much I love it, performing, teaching. Uh, if I can share that with kids and get them to get a taste of what that feels like, um, hopefully they can enjoy it as much as I do. Um, so I would say the, the thing that I enjoy most is watching kids start off with very little knowledge about music and then watching them go through the struggles a little bit and then overcome them and see the joy they have when they finally can start to figure some things out. Tell me something memorable that happened in this class. As far as students go, I would say in 2012, I had an opportunity to work with a, another musician, Dan Elsey. Dan Elsey um, is a musician and a composer um, who uh, has cerebral palsy. He cannot walk, uh, can't talk. Um, and he had an opportunity to come in and work with the students and conduct uh, one of our performances. And for me personally, and I think also for the students, it was a challenge because we're not usually used to, as you know, you're not used to working with someone who can't speak to you. Uh, so being able to take direction from someone like that um, was, for me, it was emotional, but it, I think it was also a great experience to see kids overcome some things they're uncomfortable with. Um, I could see during rehearsal some of the students would get uncomfortable. We're, we're taught growing up, I was, and a lot of you were as well that if someone has a disability, you don't stare. And one of the big things as a conductor, as you know, yeah. is the conductors want you to stare at them. So having him on stage in his wheelchair conducting through head motions um, and eye movement and things like that was a challenge for students to, to stare at him um, in the way in order to create music. Um, and he came in about six times and then did the performance and watching the kids get more and more comfortable in that environment and then watch them respond to him. And quite frankly, they responded probably more accurately with him than they do with me because I have the ability to speak and clear things up, whereas he has to go through the motions again and they have to be more attentive and more disciplined to watch. So I think musically and also personally, I think that was one of the ones that I'll never forget, having the opportunity to see from his point of view, how he's able to express music and get people to uh, respond to him. Um, so musically, I think that's one of the ones that I think is very memorable. What is something that your students have taught you? Well, I think the students teach me something different every day, um, both musically and how to interact with people. I would say the top two things that students have taught me over the since I started teaching was patience for sure. Um, before I started teaching, I didn't have children. I do have children now, so I view things differently. Um, but patience and also being able to adapt to change, I think, is one of the biggest things. I can know a lot about music, and I can impart a lot of musical knowledge on somebody. Um, but if I can't adapt to the kids that are in front of me and what they come to class with as far as being prepared, um, whatever just happened before they came in here, um, then it doesn't matter what I teach, they're not going to be able to receive that. So I think being able to be flexible and adapt to change, as well as uh, being more patient. Definitely. With kids at least. 
Who are you thankful for here at the Tenney? That's an easy one. Um, I think I'm very in a unique situation. I'm very thankful for um, my awesome wife, Mrs. Folks, and my two kids that go to school here. Um, the fact that our entire family here is a pretty awesome experience. So I get to see my kids throughout the day. I can see them, how they interact with people. Uh, my wife, Mrs. Folks, is a fantastic health teacher. It's great seeing her do something she's passionate about and be able to teach kids about what she does, uh, both here and outside of school when she does health coaching. Um, so the people I'm most thankful for are my family, um, and they happen to all be right here at the Tenney every single day. That's convenient. <laughs>Uh, thank you for letting us interview you, and thank you for being a teacher in the Tiny. Oh, you're welcome. I really appreciate you guys doing this. You guys have done a great job with all the different interviews I've seen. It really gives me an opportunity to see um, kind of an inside look at a lot of the teachers I've been working with, but maybe don't have, haven't had a chance to sit down and talk to them like that. So I think what you guys are doing is a great thing for the Tenney and for the students to see, and uh, also the teachers. So thank you very much for thinking of me. Thank you. So what's your favorite thing about Mr. Folks? My favorite thing about Mr. Folks is how he helps us learn in a funny way. Like every once in a while he makes a joke and um, it, he gets us all in a good mood and ready to play again. Mm -hmm. And I like how the word can't is in, um, in our vocabulary in the band room. So how does Mr. Folks encourage you to be, do your best? Mr. Folks has taught me that um, to try my best at everything I do and that I can do anything I want to do if I try my best. So what's one memorable moment that's happened in Mr. Folks' room? Uh, one memorable moment is when we were struggling in the trombone section and he actually like came back to actually help us instead of just standing there and like telling us notes like other band directors would do. He, he's like really nice and he would help us with like, not by saying it, he would actually like sit down with us and help us individually. What makes Mr. Folks such a great band director? I would say Mr. Folks is great because he's so encouraging and he teaches us a lot, not only about playing our instrument, but he teaches us a lot of important life lessons that we can use outside of music as well. I'm Andrew Lee and we're here with Mr. McGuire. So first question, Mr. McGuire, when did you start working here and how long have you been here? So I started working here in the fall of 2016. This is my third full school year here at the Tenney. Being that you're a music teacher, what is your favorite thing that you teach students? I love any of the times where students come in and are making music right away. So a lot of the times the stuff with the drums or anything involving singing are my favorite things to teach. So, what encouraged you to become a music teacher? So, I was a student at Methuen High, and I had a music teacher there who had such a profound impact on me that it got me rethinking what I wanted to do when I 
grew up and led me to becoming a music teacher. And now here I am working in the same district. Tell us about something that you do outside of school. So at home, I live in Lowell, where I went to college. Um, at my house, I am drinking coffee a lot, making music a lot, and it is covered in Star Wars stuff. Covered. Why do you think it is important for students to learn about music? So with music classes, I feel like it's so important for everyone to be able to be involved with music because it it works different parts of your brain than, than a lot of the other subjects we talk about. It's a chance for you to not only develop your mind, what's up here, but a chance to work with the feelings inside of yourself. We work on a lot of things that are outside of any kind of textbook, it's like believing in yourself, singing in front of other people, uh, standing up and trying something new, learning a new skill that you've never tried before and understanding that it's gonna take a while to figure it out. Those are the kind of things that I, I hope all of my students end up leaving with. What do you think that your greatest achievement is? I would say one of my greatest achievements is earlier this year I had put out an album, which was a big goal of mine for a long time. So that was something I was I was really proud to have accomplished. Ah, what genre is the album, if I might ask? That's a good question. It's uh, kind of light rock, uh, singer-songwriter, Ed Sheeran-esque. I don't know. I don't have a great answer. So just a mismatch of all of them. Yeah, it's a mismatch. Thank you so, so much for teaching here, Mr. McGuire, and it's I think it's amazing that you put out an album. Thank you so much for having me. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad I got a chance to be part of it. Well, you're welcome. So what are three important things you learned from Mr. McGuire? Mr. McGuire teach me a lot of confidence. That's why I was in the talent show last year, but it also, he showed me how to play instruments when I had actually trouble with them. And He's actually a pretty a cool guy since I think back in the back in he, when he was in school, he didn't have no many friends. It's the same thing like me, but he's actually a really smart guy and cool guy too. So what's your favorite thing about Mr. McGuire? My favorite thing about Mr. McGuire is that he is always being nice and he helps us learn how to sing good. And we get to play games if we're, we behave. So how does Mr. McGuire inspire you to do your best? Um, he, he lets us use our singing voices and he, we can actually use our singing voices in music class because that's what music class is for. And he can exp inspire us because we, he teaches us new songs and knows how to treat us with our new voices and not to be too loud or too low. I inspire Mr. McGuire that we have our proud singing voices. So what's your favorite thing to learn in Mr. McGuire's class? Well, it would have to be the instruments, for example, the drums. Why? Because Mr. McGuire teaches us to hit on the floor first. So then when he teaches us to play the drums, it'll be easier.